This month we are featuring our Mammoth Centrifuge. First designed in 2000, this machine is capable of processing 2.5 cubes of water and 2 cubes of unweighted mud and has an industry leading gearbox. At Caden Industries, we take pride in the fact that we build all of our own centrifuge equipment right here in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. There is a short video featuring one of our co-founders, Russ Fisher. In this video, he discusses information about our mammoth centrifuge. I hope you enjoy. Uh, here we have an assembled centrifuge, basically how it operates. The feed hose from the feed pump gets hooked into here. This feed tube runs down the center of the machine to about this point here. The fluid comes out the end of the feed tube, travels through the ports in the conveyor, comes to the inside of the bowl. Obviously, this machine is rotating, which forces the fluid and the solids to the uh, inside of the bowl wall. Specific gravity of the solids and the liquid separate. Solids being higher specific gravity come to the inside of the bowl. The conveyor, which is driven by the gearbox on the end, constantly scrapes the solids from the inside of the bowl down the beach where the solids are dried out. And then they're discharged out these ports here, down the chute onto the slide into the shale sloop for disposal. I don't know if you can see from there, but you can see the conveyor inside there, conveyor flight, scraping the solids. The fluid then travels here where solids are continually separated from the fluid and eventually they exit the ports out here into this pan and down through piping back to the rig for reuse. This uh, inner frame is mounted on rubber vibration isolating mounts. It makes for smoother operation and also protects the main bearings for transport. The stand, as you can see, is a unitized stand. It travels like this, is raised and lower like this, so all the safety systems remain in place at all times. Handrails are always installed. We have a fall arrest post and fall arrest uh, mounted on here as per uh, safety regulations. These are the pool plates for the overflow ports which are adjustable. You just back these bolts out a little bit then you can slide the plate up and down for different settings. Uh, this controls the depth of the pond inside the centrifuge which affects your cut point and your solids uh, dryness. Here again is the gearbox we've discussed before. It is connected to that conveyor by that drive shaft that we've seen in the shop. It is controlled here by a resettable trip assembly. In an overload situation, when it reaches a certain setting here, this arm trips down, allowing the trip arm to freewheel. It trips the centrifuge limit switch here, which shuts down the centrifuge and the feed pump, so you don't have any spillage. To reset, you just pop this back up, roll the machine back and forth a few times and should be good to go. Here's a drive motor for the centrifuge. All our 76, 2276 Mammoths have a 100 horse motor controlled by a variable frequency drive.